again, this is Miss Marino. This is packet three for May 11th through May 22nd. And this is the math part of the packet. Now this is exactly what we talked about in our Zoom, okay? So here you have a kind of mini review of using a bar graph and a number line to not only use it to recognize fractions and how you would write them, okay? But also how you would um, write them as fractions and or decimals. Okay, so very similar to what you did in the last packet. So if you get a little bit confused, you still should have that packet and you can always reference it back. Okay, so this time we're going to be working with tenths and hundredths right here. Okay, and um, so this is the page we worked on. And remember that I said that I would like if you were able to, of course, I can't highlight. Um, if you were able to highlight it, okay? So I am not able to highlight for some reason, so I'm just gonna use my pen. But with your own highlighter, I would just kinda highlight, and this would be one tenth. How do I know that? Well, I'm gonna count the rows, just like you would do if this was a bar, right? And we had to divide it into parts. So let's see how many parts there are to this whole. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that would be the whole. All of the parts would be your denominator. And how many parts are shaded? Well, there's one. So this is one tenth. Okay. So again, remember we're working with tenths and hundredths. So it's showing you. Um, and if we're thinking about a dollar in our head, we're saying, okay, one penny would be one out of one hundredth because there's a hundred pennies in one dollar. And how would I write that? In decimal form, it's right here, okay? Now, if we put I in each row, there's ten pennies, right? So what I've shaded is ten out of the hundred pennies that you see here. So ten hundredths, okay, it's ten of a hundred equal parts, one tenth, one of tenth equal parts. So it's just showing you in different ways. I can say I am showing you one tenth because like I we mentioned here, or if you're using the pennies, then you shaded ten pennies out of the whole hundred. Okay. So I want you to kind of look at each number and just highlight it. And this is, you don't have to do any math here. You're just studying it, okay? Making sure you understand what do they mean by 10 hundreds plus 10 hundred equals 20 hundreds. Well, same thing. There's, they're talking about the pennies. So they have 100 pennies here. And you have shaded this row with 10 pennies and this row with another 10 pennies. So you have 10 100 plus another 10 100 would equal 20 hundreds, okay? Or if we're looking at each bar itself, well, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, okay? And you've shaded one bar, so 1 tenth, and you've shaded this one tenth again equals two tenths. Okay, so it's just different ways of seeing it if you like a different pattern. So use your highlighter to kind of um, acknowledge them. The same thing you will need um, here on this page. You're also not really doing any math, but you are looking at how they're representing the, the bar that you see, okay? Here, you're, they're showing you either five tenths, same thing, or 50 pennies out of the whole pennies, okay? Again, I would use my highlighter or maybe cross out the pennies and see how, what you observe, okay? Write notes of what you observe, any patterns you see, okay? Um, then another one here, you're just discussing patterns. So again, there's nothing really to do here. 
But if you're just looking at this and not really paying attention and not really trying to study the pattern, you're not really going to understand it. So that's why I want you to really use your highlighter, maybe a color pencils, make sure you understand where they're getting these numbers from, okay? And making sure that you know that this is equivalent to that. Just one is shown in a fraction form and then one is shown in a decimal form, okay? Here, if we add all this up, you would have 1.25, or if we're thinking about the money, you would have a dollar and 25 cents, which is the same thing here. If we convert this into a decimal, there's two zeros here. That would be a decimal, so you would have one decimal, and again, you would have the 25. Okay, so just observing here, use your highlighters again. And then when you get here, because you've studied three more pages, you're able to then um, write a fraction and a decimal to represent the shaded part. So remember a fraction, I would use the bar. So count how many bars there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you know that that's your denominator and how many parts are shaded. Well, there's one, two, and three. So you have three tenths, okay? That would be your fraction. And then if we had to write this in a decimal, okay? You know your tenths is right. Remember our number line. We have, here's my decimal. And we had our tenths, and then we had our hundreds. Okay, remember that place value, and then on this side you have your ones, your tens, your hundreds. So because I know this is my decimal and tenths is right here, and I know there's only one zero, which means I only need one number behind my decimal, I'm going to put three. But let's say someone didn't do it this way, and someone actually counted the pennies. Well, because I know that each bar has 10 pennies and there's 10 bars, I know that if I'm talking about pennies, then it's going to be 100 as my denominator. So that's the total amount of pennies there. Okay. And each one represents 10, right? So 10, 20, 30. Okay. So here's my fraction. So if I needed to convert this into decimals, well, I know that there's two zeros, and I also know that there's one, two place values after the decimal, that were, that's where my hundred would be, so I need two numbers behind the decimal, okay? So it would be 30. So use this one as an example to complete 16, to complete 17, and 18. This is the page that I'm going to be asking for you to turn in um, next week, on the second week, on Google Classroom to make sure you understood. Okay? And then you have the same thing that you worked on in the last packet where you have to kind of continue the pattern on the bar and then continue the pattern on the number line and continue the pattern on this bar and this number line and then it asks you questions related to what you did here. So you really want to make sure you get this part right, otherwise your questions will not be correct. Okay, And then this is another way of practicing it Okay, and writing it. So now you have to write it in decimal form. So 8 tenths, again you have to remember where your decimal is, your place value, and these are your tenths, and then you have your hundredths, correct? So eight tenths would be decimal, and it's one place value after the decimal, so I know it's tenths, okay? Um, for, and then you would have to write this in decimal, so deciding that, and then you have to read your questions and answer these and then with these answers complete this table okay and again it's just more practice you're making it into a fraction and then you're making it into the decimal part okay these cards you are able to cut and use them and all this represents is these are your tenths and these are your hundreds and how would you write it okay so let's look at this one just because I have room right here to write 
if I wanted to write this decimal in fraction form, well, I know that that's going to be in the tenths place because there's one place value to the right, which is three tenths. But this one, I know there's two numbers here, which I know that means it's out of a hundred, right? So this would be um, three hundredths, okay? Oh. <laughs> My pen is, is cr going crazy. So you're able to use these just kind of as a reminder you want to cut them or you can use the pennies that they give you and then you can see which one would be greater and less than. Again, you're practicing the same thing but now they're giving you a, um, you're applying what you have learned and now you're applying it within word problems okay so again they're just asking you the distance you have to read carefully but you have to write it in um, it says write the decimal number to represent the distance okay so a Kai has traveled three tenths of a distance and Stephen has traveled five tenths of a distance so now you have to write three tenths in decimal form so three tenths because I know that my fraction looks like this, right? Of three tenths. And then what would that one be? Okay. Um, and here you're just saying which one's bigger. Is it bigger to have four pennies or 40? Remember this would kind of, you're talking about 10. So you have 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. So I would want 40 cents instead of or pennies think about money wise here okay and there's an if you're having trouble visualizing that when it's talking about tens you can technically put a zero if you put a zero behind any number it doesn't really change it but it helps on the it helps on the tens part so here you have 40 and 70 cents which one would you rather have I would rather have 70 cents Okay, so that's how you would do that. And then um, answering the questions again, word problems. So you're just applying what you have learned within the word problems and more practice here. Okay, hopefully um, if we need help, remember that on Wednesdays at 1130, I will be available to help you out with this page if need to. Okay, thank you for watching.